Now that is an impressive bit of wood carving. Hey guys, this skillfully carved Celtic inspired engraving wasn't done by me, but by TK, a fellow YouTuber and new friend of mine. As well as carving, TK also moderates a couple of very successful Facebook groups focused around 3D printing. And he has been a big help to me personally, offering helpful advice on that very subject. So I was thrilled when TK sent me a replica of this carving, cleverly converted into a pendant with a skull added to give it that edge. He actually scanned the original wooden carving and I love the way the organic feel of the wood is still here. It has three square edges and this one looks torn. You can almost smell the sap in the wood. I really like this one and I was keen to have a go at casting it in bronze. For me, an ideal metal for a Celtic inspired pendant. Supports probably weren't needed for this printing, but I added a few for stability, just in case. Once again, these were printed using Bluecast X10 with added sharpenizer, and I'm very pleased with the results. The wood grain is showing through nicely. Just a little cleanup is needed with very fine grade paper. I possibly oversprued these, I'm not sure. The U-shaped double feed connects directly to the trunk of the casting tree. Hopefully from here you can see the other two connection points, both thin wax sprues. One to the pendant ring at the top, and one to the crown of the skull. Being the thickest part of the casting, this has the potential to suffer a little shrinkage, hence the sprue for additional feed. Don't worry about these dark spots, they're not porosity. This is silicon bronze, which oxidizes. The spots should clean away easily enough. Well, 
Last week, I reviewed a Fordham, and a few folks said that it was just an expensive Dremel. And let me tell you, a few weeks back, I would have agreed with them. But not now. The handpiece is so thin, I feel in complete control. And I am able to comfortably and confidently grind away material. I could never have done this with a Dremel. But if you think I'm looking a little clumsy, please remember I'm looking through the view screen of the camera as I'm doing this. Everything grinded off beautifully. Now we just needed a little polishing. Fordham call these satin finishes and they come in various grits. I'm using a medium grit to help clean away any oxidization, followed by a fine grit. The satin finishes have done a nice job without removing any detail, but a little more polishing would be nice. This is Tripoli, which is a fine cutting compound used to remove fine scratches. I know they're looking shiny already, but a little bit of rouge will really help them pop. And there we go. I'm thrilled with these. I can't believe how well the wooden effect has come through the bronze. I'm delighted with the grain, which can be seen all over these pendants. Remember, I'm very much an amateur. These were printed using Bluecast X10 castable resin on my Eligu Mars, then cast at home using silicon bronze which I hope you'll agree polishes up beautifully. It's truly incredible what we can do at home these days. Again, I'd like to thank TK for sending this file over, and I'd urge you to seek out TK and learn from him. He talks a lot of sense and is happy to share his knowledge. So that's a finished video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care and thanks for watching.